Hello, today I'm here with a maybe a little unusual video but I was thinking about maybe maybe starting a new series here on my channel I don't know what I want to call it first I thought of like tea time but then maybe not because I'm not spilling any tea uh, so we will see maybe it's just going to be one video and nothing more but I are in my Christmas cat pyjamas <laughs> and I have my teapot and my mug and I'm going to take uh, tea and I'm going to wash my face and I'm also going to try out a new face mask that I bought today um, from the body shop I don't know how this is going to go because I'm in my bedroom not in my bathroom where I usually do this but I have prepared with wet towels a clean towel and all my skincare products so I put up my hair and I take my bunny ears also from the body shop I hate my hair right now and I don't know how people does it with this bunny hairs but they does never want to be bunny hairs on me bunny hairs, bunny ears they're just like either like this or like this I'm looking like a sad <laughs> kid or something um, yeah in these videos I'm thinking about not talk so much I did it I think I finally did it, so we leave it like this. I'm thinking about not to talk about makeup in these videos because makeup is all the things I talk about in my other videos. I just have to have my mirror. It's a little bit tight here. So I'm not going to talk about makeup in this, or maybe a little, I don't know, but the main focus is not makeup. It's maybe have the chill little moment at the night at the evening or yeah I don't know I have not planned this at all I just wanted to try my new face masks I like I'm gonna do a little thing here oh it's cat hair in this in my tea you that has animals aren't you sick of all this animal hair everywhere all the time we have two cats and there is animal hairs everywhere everywhere and all the time uh, I'm going to look here because my mirror is here and I don't want to wash off my eyes or anything I don't know how I have planned this so you're gonna see me like this I hope it's okay yeah it's animal hair everywhere I can like take something that is newly washed and it's cat hair on it and cat hair it's stuck it gets stuck ev everywhere and um, you maybe want to <laughs> know what I'm using can you do it like a pirate? I can um, this is a little sample from Lumene, their waterproof, waterproof B1, B face, eye and lip makeup remover. Only use this because my facial cleanser I'm using now, you're not supposed to get in your eyes. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that at first so the first time I use it I put it in my eyes and then I was like I see a little bit funky you know like it's blurry because this is an oil and then I read on it and like avoid contact with eyes and I'm like oh and usually I don't buy this because when I take off my makeup I want to take it all in a swipe but it's a good oil it's deep clean purifying cleansing oil 
from their Sisu series. I think it's one of their most a little more expensive series. Now I have to destroy. No, the bunny ears is still there. Maybe this turns out to an ASMR video. I have this on my mouth, on my lips. I don't know if that's okay. But now it's it's done. So I take... I don't know if this is going to work. And I think I have to wash this after today. The one part I don't like with taking off my makeup it's that my eyebrows disappear because I don't have any eyebrows I have eyebrows but you they're not so visible if you can say that okay so that was the first cleanse I always clean my face twice okay so what are we going to talk about I was thinking a little bit if I should talk about skincare I love skincare. Makeup and skincare is two of my biggest interests here in life. I have to take a little bit more. This is what I want to rub this on my eyes so I can get all of this away, but I'm not allowed because it can hurt my eyes. Or maybe I can get blind. Yeah, I love makeup and skincare. But sometimes, in the skincare world of skincare's enthusiasm, it feels like a snobby world sometimes. I love skincare, but I am never going to buy super expensive creams. I like cheaper products. But sometimes in the skincare world, it seems like if you don't like the a little bit more expensive brands, then you have nothing to do here. It feels like that sometimes. Not always. I follow a lot of skincare blogs that aren't like that. But some of them are. And it's like they're talking shit about the cheaper brands. I don't think it's the same with makeup. Like people that have much money and are makeup artists, they can love like Elf and NYX and H&M makeup. But in the skincare lobby, I think it is like that sometimes. And I like cheap skincare. Or cheap or cheap, but maybe you should say like normal skincare. I don't want the cheapest, even though I know it can be good. So if I find something that is cheap and good, I can use it. But I have some, I don't want to. I am a cruelty free YouTuber, and I don't want to use skincare that is tested on animals. And if I can, I want it to be vegan. Not all the cheapest brands is. So you can see now, you are welcome to the No Eyebrows Club. Here I am, Bunny. I live here with my lack of eyebrows. This is ASMR again. Oh, I haven't finished my tea off. I look like a reindeer, like this. If you like this series, or <laughs> if you like this video and think I should make it a series, 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 I'm gladly taking uh, su suggest su 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 uh, suggestion, su suggestions, suggestions. If you want me to talk about something special, if you want more of these, I can fix it. If you give me some ideas. Okay, so the face mask is the Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Soothing Mask. I like these um, 
from the body shop. I have tried the matcha tea and Himalayan shark oil. Shark oil. Shark oil. Shark oil. Shark oil. We leave it like that. But it doesn't say so much on the packaging what I should do. Or what this will do. But it's a so instant soothing mask. And I think this is lightly exfoliating and this is perfect for sensitive skin. I do not have sensitive skin, I just have dry skin. Now in the summer it's a little bit better. Oh, it smells really good. I have noticed it when I was younger. I hated things with nuts and oat and all these smells and now I kind of like them. I'm using a spatula from Kix. This is a really good thing to use for your eye mask. I almost said for your face mask. If you don't want to take the fingers or your hands. And I never know how much I should take the new face mask when it just says, I just think this is a layer. Where is the Swedish or the English? Rinse off after 5 to 10 minutes. Use up to twice a week. Avoid eye and lip area in case I got them with I don't know if you've noticed you the <laughs> you that are from Sweden. Often on these types of things, it's like they automatically think that all Swedes can read English because the instructions on English is much better than the instructions in Swedish. I don't know if it's maybe is that on all the Nordic countries. I don't seem to find Denmark. Okay, but I have noticed it and I understand it so it's not a problem for me but I'm just thinking it's a little bit strange. Me and my boyfriend, we bought bikes today, or he bought, no, yesterday. It was yesterday, I think. We put them together today. Uh, he bought a bike for me. It was my Christmas present from 2016. Um, so we put them together today. And then it was instruction for the gears on the bike, and it was only in English. And I am not an engineer engineer, a bike person, so it was some words, I was not sure what it was because I don't speak bicycle. And this is supposed to be on your face for 5 to 10 minutes and because this is for sensitive skin and it's also soothing, I think I can have it for 10 minutes. And I don't know if I should talk to you meanwhile I maybe should put on a timer. Now the face mask feels really good and it smells good too. It's smelling of the almond milk and oats. And this is 100% vegan. I think all the masks in this series are all vegan. I think they are working with doing all the products vegan body shop and I really love them for that because I think it's a good brand and I like what they stand for so I really like the body shop yes because of these bunny ears that's why I love them I bought two more things from body shop today I bought these two uh, I had this one I talked about this in my fairies of August and this is it's two face mist it's mint mattifying and rose dew glow. I like these because they are smaller um, because I can take them on trips. Me and my boyfriend were on Iceland. I can make a video and talk about Iceland if I'm doing a tea time again. I think I have to call this a tea time. Uh, I brought this one because it's small so you can take it in your hand luggage on the plane, um, so that I like. And if you don't like one of these, it's only 50 milliliters or 
2.0 fluid ounce. Is it is it like that? I don't know you America and your UK. What are you up to? Why can't you use the metric system? It's the best system ever. It's logical. I know it. And it's the best system, so why can't you all use it? Okay, so I bought these two. I have tried them both today, because I was bored. Um, so this would mint, that is mattifying. I am dry, but sometimes at work I get a little bit oily. I don't know why, I don't know if it's the air on the work, because we are having air condition in our office, so I don't know if it's that. So that, this one, these are very very smelly and I think this is too but this I think smells really good so I don't feel it like that. Um, but these are pretty smelly so this is a mint smell and this is a rose smell. I think this worked. I was a little bit mattified in my forehead. And they are very good spritz. Could you see that? I don't think you can see it. But it is very misty. And that I like. I hate when they are like... Um, but they are misty. So this mint smells a lot. Oh my tea is here. I think I spritz it in my tea. I did. Don't drink any more of that tea. So if you are sensitive to smells, maybe this not is for you. Uh, but mattifying, it's okay. It's very very smelly. So, and other rose, I used this over my foundation today. And I were very doing glowy, glowy. But I don't know if it was this one because I tried a foundation that I usually don't use with a primer. I don't use them together so I don't know if it was this or if it were that or this. So I have to try this a little bit more and also this one. I, I'm thinking about using this to work or have it in my locker at work. I don't know and spritz it after lunch or maybe have it in the office. Okay I don't know. Uh, so I can really recommend these at least this one, it's the Mandarin Energizing Face Mist. And this is then the Mint Mattifying and the Rose Dew Glow. Five minutes left. I think maybe I turn off the camera, wait this five minutes, take off the mask, come back and say what I think about it. And then show you the rest of the skincare that I am going to use today. And also pour out this tea. And take a little bit more because it's face mist in it. So I'll be back with a clean, nice face. Now I'm back with more tea. I love this. It's my tea pot. Teapot! And my mug. So into the skincare. Now I will take my toner. And this is from... A Swedish brand, I think, Apolosophy. It's good if you can't understand that because I don't know if I said it right. And this is a hydration toner, and I am using my favorite cotton rounds for this. They are this. These are from Kix, and it's micro beads on one side, and then a normal cotton pad on the other side, and it's exfoliating a little bit. And it feels very good on the skin. And the mask, um, when I took it off, it exfoliating a little bit. And it was all good. And it felt very... It wasn't a harsh scrub. And that's good because, as I said, I'm a little bit dry. And I can't do harsh scrubs too often. So that was really good. And it was easy to take away. And my skin feels a little bit fresher and also hydrated. So that's good. So I'm taking my toner. Do you want me to talk about more about skincare or not? 
because as I as I said, I really like it. Um, but I want to mostly talk about makeup on my channel. And these tea time videos, if there are going to be more, um, then I'm not going to talk about makeup. After my toner, I will take my serum. And on evenings I usually use this. It's from a Swedish pharmacy brand. It's called. That is a little bit hard because drugstores. Am I in focus even? We doesn't have your typical drugstores, and not like in the UK. You have like pharmacy and makeup in the same. We have a little bit of makeup, but it's not like a drugstore. It's a pharmacy, and some of them have. A little bit of makeup, but not much. So this is a pharmacy brand. <laughs> that feels strange to say. And there is their Renewing Face Oil. It's from Aqua. And it's Age Defense and Natural Glow. And Q10 in it. And I really love this. I like oils um, at night. Because in the morning I don't have time for it. Because I'm going to work so early so I don't have time to, for this to sunk in so I just warm it up I have to look in the viewfinder I warm it up in my hands or I can look in the mirror and then put it and you're supposed to do like this when you're putting lotion and stuff on your face but then my peach fuzz is in the wrong direction so I don't like it to do that and this oil is vegan Really good. I don't know if everything I'm using is vegan because I'm not that good at ingredients and stuff like that. And for my eyes, I have started to use this one. I have this in my August favorites as well. It's the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. And I know a lot of people don't want to use the Ordinary. I have taken the decision to use it either, either way. I have taken, taken the decision to use it. I usually don't take stands about makeup that often. Um, I use Jeffree Star products. I use Kat Von D products. I don't know if I'm going to keep buying Kat Von D or not, but Jeffree Star, I buy some of his products. You can think whatever you want. I think that he Maybe is a sh he is a changed man. I think it's not fair to people to use things they they have said in the past. And if you don't know everything about the person, you don't know why they act like they act. But that we can save to another tea time. We don't have to take it today. So <laughs> the ordinary caffeine solution. This is for the eye area. And as I said in my monthly favorites, I think it has helped a little bit, but I'm not sure because I didn't take any before pictures. And this has a pimpette. What is this even called in English? I have no idea. And I just take one little drop of it. And then do it like that and that. And I start to massage it into my skin. And this is pretty strong. If you get too close to the eyes, it can sting a little bit. And I take it all the way out here where I have my wrinkles. Yes. And now it's time for the last, last, last step. One of the last steps. We got two steps. Still to come. Three steps with the tea. So my night cream is from the body shop and it's their vitamin E night cream for Christmas or for last four years I think I have been getting the body shop calendar I don't I think it exists in more countries than Sweden it has to be I get it from a boyfriend every December and I love it and this one was one of the products so I'm using the day and night cream from the vitamin E series I think I like it 
And then the last step is eye cream, and this is from Lumina. It's their Pure Dew Drops Hydrating Eye Gel. But I don't really like this. I usually don't use eye creams, but after I start using this, I'm using eye creams because I want to hydrate it a little bit. But I haven't found anyone that I like yet. This is okay, but the thing with eye creams, if you don't like an eye cream, it's going to take forever to use this up because it's an eye cream and you don't need that much. But I think I'm not going to use this up and just buy another one because sometimes about skincare I think if I don't like the product I get rid of it and test the new one out because it's my skin and I don't want to fuck with it. I don't want to mess anything up. And this one I usually don't massage in, I just tap it in start the blood flow or what is and now I'm ready to go to bed I'm gonna lose this but I have my hair up for night so I hope you enjoy this video I don't know if there's anything you want to see but sometimes I like to just sit in front of the camera and talk maybe I don't have anything interesting to talk about but I like it because you are my internet friends and you watch me for a reason, I think. <laughs> and I like these kinds of videos to look at myself. So if I like it, maybe people that like me like it too, if you understand what I mean. Um, so yeah, that was all for tea time number one. Should I call it tea time? Okay, there's a lot of tea times. But it's a good word. Tea time. Should I take the Swedish? Tea ducks? No, I'm not. <laughs> so maybe tea time. Tea time it will be. Even though it's a lot of tea times. This is my tea time. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'd be glad to make more of these. Maybe they just come out once a month or something like that. But I hope you liked it, and it's cat hair in this mug too. In this round too, but... When you have animals, after a while you just don't care. You eat that hair. You drink that hair, because you don't care. Okay, <laughs> so if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, you can do that and if you have something you want me to talk about that is not makeup related or it can be makeup related but not like makeup products but if you want me to talk about anything makeup wise of a couple of brands or something you can let me know and I will see if I can do that so this was my first tea time I will see you in my next video Bye!